from a dumpy little office in West Covina, California, it's the Foo Bar Show with Josie and the Foo. Hey, what's happening, everybody? I am Josie. I am the Foo. And we got David on the mix here, and today we have a very, very special guest. Very special guest. Her name is Yoshi Vintage. She'll be joining us a little later in the podcast. Uh, pretty uh, pretty soon, though. Pretty soon. So I, I wanted to just get right into it, man. We just came back from this Dodger game that we went to yesterday. It was Cal Poly alumni. Go Dodgers. Go Dodgers. Fun. Looks like we're learning how to win again. Yeah. After Well, the Rockies weren't that hard to beat. <laughs> they kind of they sucked last year, too, right? Uh, they were not good. Yeah, they weren't great. So uh, we we met up over at Union Station, started pre-gaming it from there on out. Just uh, parked at a random park and uh, just started, you know, hitting tall cans. Yeah. Uh, we were just chilling, really. The game was sick. Uh, there was a Cal Poly Pomona event, the alumni that was sick. And also the food made you sick, just in case uh, yeah, dude, everyone was wasn't clear on that. I want to complain about the Dodger dog. It well, was never we, great. Well, so everyone knows we were at the uh, all-you-can-eat section, which is mm -hmm. not the recommended section, by the way. If you want to eat. But it was one of the sections that was giving away these badass promo hats, which are, like, what would you say, pretty quality? Yeah, they're pretty quality. They're snap-on, so one size fits most. Yeah, and then it's, um, you know, it's got the nice, smooth material, and it's stitched. Yeah, the so stitching was dope. It's good. It was a great giveaway. Yeah, for yeah. for the alum. Uh, but, yeah, I had a good time. I was I was already drunk walking in, that's for sure. After yeah. Pre-gaming it in the and car. And then, now you know, David, uh, Jose's new favorite ballpark treat is a Dodger dog. Yeah, I hate it. I can't <laughs> stand it. Uh, the well, have you ever had the, the Dodger dog, David? <clears throat> no, I've never been to a baseball game. You've never no been to way. a baseball game? Nope. Why? We'll get into that later. Why not? Because he fell asleep? Yeah, pretty much. So uh, <laughs> the, I think the best part of the game uh, was Jose's wife getting interviewed uh, and making it onto, I think, the Dodger big screen and also like the Cal Poly website, Facebook. Yeah, it was funny. Uh, we were gone. We were all getting more drinks. Yeah, we were all getting drinks <laughs> while Steph was guarding the fort. And then, uh, so I guess they were going around interviewing people and say, well, would you rather prefer the Dodgers winning the World Series or like getting your degree? And everyone's like, fuck yeah, the Dodgers winning the World Series would be epic. And then they get to Jose's wife and they ask her and she's just like, oh, definitely graduating from Cal Poly over at World Series any day. So, right. That's where everyone stands, by the way. Well, she doesn't care. Congrats, that much. man. Yeah, thanks a lot. <laughs> so I have more complaining to do about this Dodger dog. It's a sad. It, uh, let me describe it since you've never had it, Dave. Um, well, 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 when you hear Dodger dog, what are you imagining? Uh, just a very large hot dog with a lot of onions and bacon. Wrong. No bacon. <laughs> yeah. They give you bread and a Farmer John. It was forgettable. Wiener. Just like yeah, Jose's rent. It's uh, <laughs> it's not great, dude. So it's like Costco. It's pretty much Costco. Well, no, I wish it was Costco. <laughs> That's how I feel about the Dodger dog. It's uh, at other stadiums and uh, like, like, for example, I'm sure Chicago has a nice, you know, sausage that would snap as soon as you take a bite into it with all the, you know, all the trimmings and, and shit that you would put on a good hot dog. But um, yeah, I wasn't a fan of it, and it should go away. So, uh, anything else you wanted to talk about before we uh, before we move forward? Yeah, how about the royal wedding? Yeah, who cares, right? Uh, Kirk Morrison cares. Who's that? He's an ex Raider. Uh huh. <laughs> and he knows a lot about the royal family. Okay. And then he's the only guy, at least in our country, that who cares about it. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll just get right into it here. Um, Yoshi Vintage. We'll uh, we'll have her up right now. Here we go. Welcome to the oh, show. Hey, hey, what's happening? <laughs> How are you today? I'm good. You know? Cool, cool. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I was hoping that uh, you would tell us a little bit about yourself. We could play some uh, some of your tracks and uh, and just kind of go from there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So where are you coming from? Um, where are you my from? My name is um, Yossi Ventus. I'm from Flint, Michigan. Mm -hmm. Um. I moved here about two years ago, and I turned 18. I'm 20 now. You feel me? Oh, damn. Um, but, yeah, so I'm from Flint. Um, moved to LA, you know, you know, make music, you feel me? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. 
<laughs> cool. Uh, is uh, do you want to play one of your tracks? Uh, yeah, we can get What's into Rosewater. Rosewater, okay. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Pack. I got rose water in my cup. In my cup. I have memories and tragedies just to fill it up, yeah. I got bad vibes and bad vibes on my mind. Rose weed and butterflies in my garden, yeah, 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 yeah. Rose water in my cup. In my cup. Memories and tragedies gon' fill it up, yeah. Bad vibes and bad vibes on my mind. Rose weed and butterflies in my garden, yeah. Rose with a pimp, pink pie sail on the whip, young two seven with a drip, Python P with the hit, ooh, I'ma get you now, out of my mind, but I'm so up, bitch, you know, yeah, out of my mind, out of my mind, but I might fucking risk it all, yeah, ooh, I'ma get you now, beautiful strange, I like my homegirls in seven silk when we hang, I want my homeboys just runs like Kirk Cobain, up all night, losing my mind, going insane till they know my name. Damn, I miss the OB. Miss Lace Nights nice with the homies. Them joy rides with the ponies. Yep. Listening to the 80s oldies. Skip school two, hit the studio. Uh-huh. Long no taking over your radio. Yeah. Only five niggas was at the show. Uh-huh. Didn't give a fuck about who you know. I got rose water in my cup. In my cup. I had memories and tragedies just to fill it up. Yeah. I got bad vibes and bad vibes on my mind. Roses, weed, and butterflies in my garden, yeah, 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 yeah. Rose water in my cup. Uh, memories and tragedies gon' fill it up, yeah. Bad vibes and bad vibes on my mind. Roses, weed, and butterflies in my garden, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was kind of yeah, the end. Yeah, yeah, the end is like only for the album, so y'all ain't got to play the whole oh, thing. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Damn, I was hoping we were going to keep the special yeah, I'm treat. Like, I'm like, hold on, cut that right here. That's <laughs> no. for the album. Y'all talking for the album. <laughs> that is that, is that, that was... supposed to be its own track in and of itself? Huh? It's supposed to be part of the album. Yeah, the yeah, end, the the end, end is uh, it's like for the album or whatever, okay. so yeah. I don't want to play the whole is it, thing. Is it like its own track, though? Huh? Normally, is it, would it normally be its own track, or is it just yeah, yeah, no, the... no, no, it's the whole track. Like that's okay, the end okay, of the okay. track. But I'm just gonna. It's certain. Like I did a lot mm. of different things on my album where I'm just gonna. Keep... Yeah, because you're like a theme of the album, right? Yeah, right. you know yeah, what I'm saying. I so know what when you saying. release the album, you don't want to. You don't want to. Really, Why you releasing records? You giving them too much? Because I plan. I might release that song before my album come out, and I ain't probably not gonna have yeah. that part on there. But then when they hear the album, they can be like, "Where is it? Where the well, end come kind of get the the feel of the music more. So you can like it's it it bring a better way of you should listen to some uh, hip-hop sometime i do man i do (laughs) (laughs) not all the time but i do i do so when did you realize that this was your passion like at what point Uh, in your life second grade like second grade i was already like writing music and performing what uh is there anything significant significantly that happened to you around that time where you were that happened or that you did or that you might have written that really kind of made you Get, um, get really I think that one of the, one of the number one things is, you know, like I said, I had already started writing and performing second grade. And then in third grade, um, I ended up winning this contest, like 15 of us won. And I was the youngest. I was like seven. Nice. Everybody else was like 20 and 30 <laughs> and I won oh. and I got the audition for Randy Jackson. I ain't make it through though, but I was still the only seven year old <laughs> to make it through in the competition. So I was happy. Yeah. He was just like. And, and my personality so wild, so it was so crazy. When I audition, I didn't audition like everybody else. I ain't come uh-huh. there with just the song. I wrote the song with a script that go to it, and he was just like, "You gonna be a star when you get older." You even <laughs> came in here with a script and everything. I'm like, really? thought outside the box. I mean, I was else, like, yeah. I came with a whole Nickelodeon audition <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> with the slime and everything. <laughs> Just from left field, man. For real, I was trying to get on Nickelodeon and everything. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, what was the contest like specifically? Um, it was it was like the contest was something like Flint. Like he did, he came to Flint to like see was it any talent going on out there? Because nobody ever come to Flint. They usually come to Detroit. So they uh-huh. we did this competition and um we won. And it was like he was trying to put together like auditions to go on the Amer- I mean, American Idol or whatever, but mm-hmm. 
since I like where I'm from is so small and people don't really, you know, it's not really like buzzing out there. He had to do it that way in order to see who's the most talented because okay. it's just a small place. So it was just like we was the fifteen. That there wasn't won. a whole huge scene at the time. Like he had a yeah, grab it from yeah, and that was cool. When they got to school, you know. what I'm saying when they found out <laughs> about that, you feel me? I walked in class. They was like, oh. <laughs> I was like, no. So you won, right? Yeah. No, I won the the talent show. But when mm-hmm. I auditioned for Randy Jackson, I ain't go through. He was just like, you a little young right now. And he was uh, like, oh, uh, did you get? Yeah, I was sad because I put together that whole thing, and he was like, you a little bit too young right now. He was right, like, you're like fucking Randy. Why? <laughs> yeah, I was, I was so mad, but I was happy at the same time because he was just like he was giving me like inspiration. He was like, "You gotta keep going." He was said, he "Giving because, you tips at least." Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. That's so cool. it was dope. It was. Yeah, real he hypes dope. you up. You know, he lets you know you're doing good. Yeah, job still, so. yeah, it made me feel like I was really going in the right direction. That was like the first celebrity I had met. Is that so. about the time American Idol was first coming out, or where was that? Yeah, like how many it years was had popping. It was really popping back then. Like okay, that. Okay. That was around the time when um, like Dream Girls was out or something like that. Dream Girls, yeah, With Ron. So it was like a long, uh-huh, you know. Uh-huh. It was it was pretty much yeah. So I by, watched American Idol then, every uh, day back. Then. I mean, whenever it came on. What's her name? Jennifer Hudson. Wasn't she on like the second or third season? And then yeah, something like that. So yeah. then she was on Dream Girls, wasn't she? Yeah, yeah. So it must have been right after that. So like may, around that time. Yeah, it was like okay. a, it was it well, it was yeah. before that, but it was around that. Okay, time. okay. So but like it was the, before that, but yeah. it was around that time. That you feel what I'm saying. Uh, yeah. So I've seen you perform live multiple times, and the first time yeah, I saw I you, see. one of the things that, <laughs> one of the things that impressed me was your energy. You uh, you're very big with the energy you get in everybody's face, and you actually you have something to say, and you demand mm. the attention of the crowd. You'll be like, "Hey, shut the hell up!" Yeah, that's what you talk about that's <laughs> amazing. <laughs> what? And it is clearly that it's clear that you enjoy like every single part of your performance, yeah. and you give a lot of it, and you put a lot of it out there. What? gives you that energy for each performance what is it that you love and appreciate most about being on stage mm-hmm. um just getting the chance to be on stage you know what i'm saying like that's what i appreciate yeah. you know somebody's putting me on the stage you know so that like you know that's a, just enough for me that somebody took the time out to want me on a stage you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna give them what you know what i'm saying what they deserve you know what i'm saying it's like i you know i mm-hmm. took the time out to get you on my stage you know what i'm saying so I'm going to come and I'm going to supply the talent. I'm going to, you know, get my all no matter what. You know what I'm saying? If you haven't seen Yoshi Vintage, mm-hmm. definitely go to a live show. <laughs> She's one of those live performers where you hear her on, you hear her come to the radio and it'll be great and it'll sound <laughs> fucking big that brings and amazing. Me to, but uh, when, when you watch her live, God damn, she brings the energy. <laughs> that brings me to the, you know, what are some uh, latest shows that you've performed at recently? Uh, Last show I just performed that a couple of days ago. It's called Mars Don't Attack. That was fun. Mm-hmm. I perform a lot. Yeah? You yeah. would say every weekend? Yeah. Oh, literally. okay. Like, I just, I'm finishing my album right now, so I'm not doing as many shows right now because I got to focus on that, but What's the last uh, expected year, release date on that? Uh, you know what I'm saying? I, I can't even talk about that. Work's called, work, <laughs> work, <laughs> work's called work. Go, where can they go to get more information about you? Uh, The internet, you feel what I'm saying? Instagram, you know, Twitter. Or so what's the, can we, what's my the, website, YoshiVincent.com. You know? YoshiVincent.com. You got any uh, upcoming stuff? Um, uh, I got a show on Friday. Schedule. My man's right here. You know what I'm saying? He got, you know, put me on the set. At I got a show on right? Sunday, too. Irish Pub and Grill in Azusa. Yeah, uh, you You'll be me? performing around 9 p.m. this Friday, May 24th. So. Right? <laughs> yeah, got my man's right uh, here. Yeah, no, I'm so sorry. May 25th. We're going to have Yoshi yeah, Vintage. Friday, yeah. At Callahan's, Callahan's Azusa. Azusa. Swing by if you heard this. If not, definitely check her out online at yoshivintage.com. Appreciate you, you feel me? Can you, uh, well, can you let us know, like, uh, the you moved here from Michigan uh, at a very young age compared to most of the rest of yeah, us who end up moving away from home. What inspired that the most that's for you to come west? I had to. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. first of all, I had told my mama a long time ago when I turned 15, I mean, when I turned 18. Mm-hmm. And I was like 15. I told my mama when I turned 18, I'm moving to L.A. She thought I was crazy. She was like, who you know in L.A.? I don't know nobody, but I'm going to know somebody when I get there. <laughs> Circled it on the calendar so, and everything. You, for real. Yeah. Like, I was yeah, not that's joking. How, yeah, that's how like, you get shit done. You feel yeah. me? Yeah. I was not playing. Like, I mapped out mm-hmm. my whole birthday and everything. Took all my birthday money and moved to L.A. <laughs> I was not. Literally, the week after I turned 18, because I knew I couldn't move before I turned 18. So, the okay. week after I turned 18, I was gone. <laughs> <laughs> so, what was uh, what was her reaction then? At that oh, she point? was mad. She was mad. Oh, she was all the mm. way mad. Like she, <laughs> she wasn't playing no game. She was like, she was like, my mama real religious. I'm talking about 
uh-huh. Bible banging. Like, like she don't Southern play religion, no games. right? Yeah, she don't play no games. <laughs> you feel me? So, like, she real religious. So she'll, like, 